good morning students and friends now we will see about the one of the topics under engineering graphics called the projections of planes i am dr n sandil kumar we will see the introduction of the projections of planes projections of planes a plane has only two dimensions like length breadth or width it has no thickness a plane may have any shape may be regular or irregular for regular plane it should have a minimum of three edges a triangle is a plane that is a it has got minimum three edges or corners the regular planes are triangle square pentagon hexagon circle etc various positions of a plane under that first we see about the types of planes there are two types of planes they are perpendicular planes and oblique planes let us see perpendicular plane plane that are perpendicular to one or both the reference planes are called perpendicular planes okay uh, oblique planes planes that are inclined to both h1 and p are called ob- oblique planes so for understanding the subject we will be solving some problems under the perpendicular planes but Uh, from the university examinations point of view you will get the questions only from the uh, oblique planes that is plane inclined to both hp and vp now we see about the perpendicular plane here you see the plane capital a b c d it is a rectangular plane now this rectangular plane is parallel to hp and perpendicular to vp that is why it is shown here plane parallel to hp and perpendicular to vp this plane is parallel to hp and perpendicular to vp to get the front view the observer has to see at the right extreme corner at infinite distance he has to look at this one for this observer the points a and b are nearer the plane is seen as a line ab only so the front view is a dash b dash the point d is hidden by a point c is hidden by b so that is why the points d dash and c dash were written within bracket so this is the front view the front view is a line but in the top view for the top view the observer has to see from this point he can completely see the rectangle so that is a image obtained on hp that is the, the, the small a b c d is the top view so this is the orthographic uh, uh, view or projection of this particular problem so if the plane is parallel to hp and perpendicular vp front view is seen as a line and top view in top view only you can see the plane as such so for this kind of problem you have to start the top view first then complete the front view next okay here generally you have to start the view wherein you are able to see the plane completely that is why the position plane parallel to hp and perpendicular to vp front view is a line top view uh, shows the true shape of the plane okay that is what is shown here this here okay now we see the next uh, uh, possibility the plane abcd rectangular plane is now parallel to vp but perpendicular to hp so in front view you can see the plane true shape of the plane completely the top view is a line you see here front view is a plane a dash b dash c dash and d dash top view is a line cd okay so which uh, 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 view uh, which view you have to start first you have to start the view in which you are able to get the plane completely on its true shape so you have to in this particular case you have to start the front view first then complete the next uh, uh, top view next that is shown here in this table plane parallel to vp and perpendicular to hp front view shows the true shape of the plane top view is a line parallel to xy now see this plane now the rectangular plane a b c d is perpendicular to both hp and vp so the in both the front view as well as in the top view it is seen as a line then where will you see the line a uh, plane the plane can be seen as a plane only in the side view either the left side view or the right side view you see the f- front view as well as the top view are lines how to complete the projection here you have to start from the side view from first you have to draw the side view from the side view you have to get the front view combining side view and front view you have to get the top view okay we'll s- while s- uh, we'll solve one problem related to this 
uh, at that time you will come to know more about the plane perpendicular to both h and v so these are the three possibilities under the perpendicular planes okay for this perpendicular plane plane perpendicular to both h and v is a line perpendicular to x y front view is a line top view is also a line now we see about uh, the plane inclined to hp perpendicular to vp plane inclined to hp and perpendicular to vp so the plane a b c d is inclined to hp and perpendicular to vp so in the front view is a line top view is a plane but that won't show the true shape it, it is a four shot and one it is a reduced one okay so you, you cannot uh, solve this problem directly first of all uh, you have to uh, uh, assume that the plane is parallel to hp draw the top view and front view then tilt the front view and get the final top view like this okay while solving the problem you will come to know you will come to know more about this one okay so this is the this is also a perpendicular plane plane inclined to hp perpendicular to vp uh, front view is a line shows the true angle since it is inclined uh, top view shows the plane which is four short end not the true rectangle the other possibility plane inclined to vp perpendicular to hp here front view is a uh, rectangle four short and one top view is a line that shows the true angle so this is the orthographic projection right uh, here the plane inclined to vp and perpendicular to hp front view shows the plane which is four short end top view is a line that shows true inclination pi now finally we'll see uh, the tabular column alone for the oblique plane the plane inclined to both hp and vp okay the plane inclined to both hp and vp in this case the front view shows a plane which is oblique the top view also shows a plane which is again oblique okay uh, we will solve uh, problems covering all the possibilities i showed in this particular uh, thing okay thank you